Silhouette Studio is the powerful but easy to use software program that runs your Silhouette cutting machine. Once you have Silhouette Studio downloaded and installed, which can be found on the Silhouette America website, and have logged in with your Silhouette account, then you're ready to start creating designs and sending them to your Silhouette. You'll find drawing tools on the left, general document tools along the top, navigation tabs on the top right, and studio tools along the right. When Silhouette Studio first opens, you'll see the workspace, which is where you create all your designs. Anything on the page here in the center can be cut, and anything outside of the page border will not cut. Your page size, and therefore cut area, is determined by your connected machine and the dimensions you have input into the Page Setup panel. We'll go over the Page Setup panel in more detail in another tutorial. I'm using the Silhouette Cameo, so I've got a 12 inch by 12 inch area to work with. You have a few options for designing in Silhouette Studio. One of the easiest ways to start is with ready-made designs you can purchase in the Silhouette Design Store, along with pre-loaded designs that come with your Silhouette. Any designs you buy from the Design Store go to your library. You can also use the drawing tools on their own or in combination with existing designs. You'll find a how-to video for the drawing tools in our video for basic design and text tools. So let's start with a library design. I want to cut a design I've purchased, so I'll go to my library to find it. My design is called Autumn Leaf, so if I start typing that name or a keyword in the search bar, it will narrow my choices so I can quickly find the design I want. Double-click to open, and it will open on my work page. Most designs will be red cut lines when they open on the workspace, so they can be filled with color, resized, rearranged, replicated, and more. Any changes you don't want to keep can be reversed by clicking the Undo button at the top. This design has a centerpiece grouped with it, so if I want to cut that from a different color, I can ungroup it, then save it off to the side for a separate cut job once I'm done with the leaf. I can cut this design now from one of many different materials. I'm going to cut it from pattern paper, so I'll need to use a mat. A mat is necessary when materials don't have a separate backing layer. When your machine is turned on and ready with your media loaded, go to the Send panel. This page gives you a cut preview so you can see in bold lines where your machine intends to cut. You can change selected lines to No Cut, Cut, or Cut Edge. The Cut Edge option will essentially auto-weld overlapping shapes and cut will just cut all the lines that are there, whether overlapped or not. We won't use overlapped shapes here, so the simple cut choice will work for this design. Choose a material. I want patterned paper medium. The action defaults to cut, which is what I want to do. Depending on your machine and design, you also have choices like score, sketch, and stipple. Next is your tool choice. This will also depend on your connected machine. I'm using a Cameo 3, and I want to use my Auto Blade so it will adjust automatically, based on the settings selected on this page. If I were using a ratchet blade, I would need to physically adjust the blade depth to the number setting shown here. If you want to adjust the cut settings, you can change them here. But these pattern paper settings are fine, so I'm ready to cut. My paper is on my mat, my mat is loaded into my Silhouette machine, and my blade is inserted and locked into place in the blade carriage. Now I can click Send, and my machine will begin the cut job. That's all there is to it. You can cut so many things with these simple steps. Open or create a design, load your media, and send to cut. Be sure to watch our other tutorials on how to use the specific features in Silhouette Studio version 4.1, along with how-to videos on various silhouette media, tools, and machines.